The October jobs report is in, and it failed to meet expectations. Meanwhile, gold prices continue to surge, and the stock market just suffered a historic losing streak. Our next guest is very worried and says you should be too. Welcome to Wall Street Week. The gloom, boom, and doom report editor Mark Faber joins us now. Mark, we're talking a little bit about the economy and the next president. How do you think the presidential election is going to affect the long-term investor? Well, I think that if uh, Mr. Clinton is elected, that the market will rally short term, but no new high. The all-time high was on August 15 at 2,193 on the S&P. I don't expect a new high. And then Hillary will be very, very negative in the long run for stocks and also bonds. On the other hand, if Mr. Trump is elected, much of the decline people have been fearing that, would, uh, that Mr. Trump's victory would bring about has already occurred. And so the market may sell off a bit more and then bottom out and also rally. But I think in the long run, as Wilbur Ross just pointed out, in the long run, a Trump victory would be much better for U.S. assets than a Hillary victory. Wilbur, um, there's this common notion out there that if Hillary Clinton wins the election, the stock market's going to rally because they know what to expect. You're a great contrarian investor, and I, I, I have to believe that you have to be concerned as many other great contrarian investors are, that that just is not going to happen because everybody expects that? Well, first of all, the market very rarely does what everybody universally expects it to do. Uh, if, it, if it did do what everybody in general thinks it will do, I couldn't even make any money. So I'm, <laughs> I am a contrarian. But um, I also think there's another phenomenon that will come in if it's Hillary Clinton that happens to win. And that is, I think you're going to see more volatility in the market than you would with Donald Trump. And the reason is, look at her tax proposal on stocks. She's basically saying you have to hold stocks for six years to get full long-term capital gain treatment. People aren't going to want to hold stocks for six years. It was one thing when you only had to hold them for a year to get the treatment. Now you're going to see a lot more short-term trading because nobody's going to want to take a six-year investment horizon risk, especially not with her, and especially not with even left-leaning groups like the Tax Policy Center admitting that Trump's policies would be better for the economy over the next few years. So with Hillary, you have the further problem she wants to put $275 billion more tax on businesses. That's to pay for the strange infrastructure program that she has. $275 billion is 7.5% of total business earnings and 1.5% of the economy. That is not a formula for a booming stock yep. market. But Mark, you're writing the gloom, boom, and doom report. So what do we get with Mr. Trump? Do we get boom? I would say we will more likely get global peace with Mr. Trump yeah. than with Mrs. Clinton, because Mr. Trump is relatively pragmatic. He doesn't stand up and basically express the opinion that he hates Mr. Putin. He looks at the world also from the perspective of Russia. He looks at the world also from the perspective of Xi Jinping in China and not just from the American perspective. And the world has changed. We can see this in Asia, where all the countries in Asia are China-centric. They are dependent on the Chinese economy. They're dependent on exports to China. They're dependent Mark, on the 130 million Chinese visitors. Mark, give, you, give us a strategy. Give the viewers a strategy. You wake up next Wednesday morning and give us an asset allocation strategy globally that you take with both of the candidates given one wins and one loses. What, what do you do? My view is we don't know how the world will look like in five years' time. We have manipulated asset markets with artificial low interest rates, and you need to be diversified. I think, by and large, individual 
and institutional investors are grossly underweight gold, silver, platinum. And I would recommend every listener to hold some gold. And when people say, well, I own some gold, not just 3%, I would say you have to hold at least 20 to 30% of your assets, of your liquid assets in gold. Why would you hold US dollar cash or any cash in the world uh, which has frequently less than zero interest rates when you can have gold, which is a, an honest currency, can't be printed. Our thanks to Mark Faber, Gloom, Boom, and Doom report editor, <laughs> as well as W.L. Ross and company founder, Wilbur Ross, Wall Street Week. We'll be right back. Thanks, guys.